in this video, I'll walk you through all of the tools and supplies, even the dye that I use and the ratios, exactly how I do this so you can make your own sweet looking disc. Hey guys, it's MC Fix It here. We're gonna be taking this uh, Big Z Manta and putting a kind of a Bengals-esque logo on it and uh, dyeing this for one of our student ministries uh, disc golf outings we have. And so I'm gonna walk you through all the tools, the supplies, and how we do this. So let's go ahead and jump on in. You're gonna want whatever color disc. Obviously, the Bengals color is orange, so we're gonna be doing a lot of orange. I went ahead and printed it out on an Oracle 5160 with a Cricut. You're going to want transfer paper, plenty of paper towels. I have this little device over here. It's a 3D print that allows you to put a disc on. Totally optional, but it is kind of helpful. We're going to be using an electric burner that I have over here <coughs> with a pan. And uh, you're going to be using iDye Poly Black with uh, 16 ounces of water. No acetone needed and one packet. Mix it all up. I went ahead and dumped it on in. Don dish soap and water. A butane torch is really helpful. Uh, I found out that denatured alcohol, this is a really, really old bit of it, uh, will help if there's any stickiness left on it from the stencil. Uh, then acetone um, will actually help erase this original stamp. You'll want some transfer paper as well. And uh, I use a pick and a scraper tool a lot. <clears throat> Sometimes you do need a uh, X-Acto knife. A Sharpie is really helpful. Scissors can also be very helpful. Uh, gloves, ruler, and uh, that's just an old towel and a heat gun. And so that's what I use. And so we'll go ahead and jump right on into this project. I like to set my whole workstation up so it's nice and ready to rock and roll. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is not wipe the stamp. I'm gonna wait till I get gloves on to do that, but is to go ahead and pull our design. <clears throat> and so we will just go ahead and do that now. Anything that we want to be black, we're going to go ahead and pull. The rest of it will uh, stay that orange color. And so let's go ahead and jump on into it. We're going to go ahead and put some gloves on and remove this original So I'm going to do that. We're going to go ahead and turn on the hotbed. Again, that is one of the tablets and not tablets, but packs of dye and 16 ounces of water. So that is on like two or three. We do not want that to boil, just smoke a little bit. That's all we're looking for. And then we'll go ahead and grab this, pull off the transfer paper. Start to line this up nice and good. And we'll go ahead and set up our disc. This has two different settings, kind of a, and I think this is gonna be the one I want it on because this is, I believe it's a fairway driver. I always forget exactly what a Mantis is. I do have some friends that throw a lot of mantises. So I'm liking that right there and hopefully we got that nice and centered. And sometimes I do kind of check it with a ruler to make sure we're at least somewhat close on it. <clears throat> I have had some that uh, you do have to recut the stencil because you do mess it up. That does happen. Even with all of these extra little uh, things I've done to hopefully have that never to happen, it still can happen. So I think we're ready to go ahead and pull this over here. 
Again, if it is bubbling, go ahead and uh, make sure that was actually off. I have put it on max a couple of times. Don't do that. Uh, we're going to hit it up with a butane torch and hopefully pop any bubbles that are on the top. And you can reuse this dye so many times. So when this does, it's going to be a lot of black, especially around the rim. But that is okay to me. Oop, I just saw another air bubble. Go ahead and get that out. And I'm going to kind of put it down at an angle. And then just let it float. And then we'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. We'll go ahead and pull this up. It's been 10 minutes. And we'll go ahead and grab a paper towel and uh, just begin to wipe that off. Wow, that is so nice, dark, and rich. That's pretty awesome looking. And we'll go ahead and set this back up here, get it out of our way. Go ahead and take a little spray. Don dish soap and water. This will just kind of help stop anything from continuing to dye it. And we'll go ahead and weed it. I know it looks pitch black right now, but you will see that orange color popping through right about now. So that turned out really cool. I am gonna go ahead and clean it off. The only kind of imperfections we had uh, was a little bit where the original Mantis symbol was, but uh, I don't think it really matters. That looks so sweet and everything came out really, really cool looking on this. I hope you like it. If you have any comments, go ahead and put them in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching.